Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. This is gonna be a word download, uh, as uh, some of you requested. So episode 20, I can't believe we are already in episode 20. And um, yeah, at the end of the episode, I'm gonna explain some of the things on the base. So when you download the world, you have a, a better understanding how everything is connected and work. And I'm gonna probably put a crate with all my inventory in there uh, because uh, that's data play, uh, play data and uh, player data. That's what I, I wanted to say. And uh, you're not gonna have uh, all that I have in here. So um, before we start, let me show you actually what I was uh, working in the last episode. So I finished this in here and we're gonna connect it and see how it works uh, but basically this in here is the ender chest coming from the digital miner on the deep dark and this in here is coming from the void miner over there the this is a tier one by the way so we're gonna uh, be upgrading that depending on how much we have in here uh little crystal we have yeah, uh, this one here is a rhodium crystal, 18 pieces. That's not a lot, that's two blocks, and I think we need a little bit more. Anyway, so we'll have to wait for that. Uh, so all these pieces, like these three in there, and if we go over here, these four, these two, and these three, and that one actually, all go are gonna go directly to our system uh, the rest is actually uh, categorized like this uh, and I'm gonna show you oh I think I forgot to do this one I uh, forgot to do this one actually okay so this in here I think we're also gonna throw um, actually that's gonna be easy to do uh, this in here is gonna go directly to our system, I think. Oh no, no, no! This in here I already put. These are in here. Uh, so what I have in here is uh, all this on the top goes to these mechanical squeezers. Uh, once they uh, squeeze the uh, ore, they go to this uh, alloy smelter. And the aloe smelter is uh, pulling from the top. And it's actually pulling from the bottom, from the sag mill. So this one here are processed on the top and then go to the middle and then go to the system. These in here are only processed on these ones in here. Okay, because they don't go to the aloe smelter. So, for example the uh, lapis, redstone, coal, emerald and diamonds. So once uh, you squeeze them, you get the, the final result. Uh, this one is in here are actually going through, they don't actually have a recipe for the squeezer, so they go into the sag mill. And once they go to the sag mill, they go to the alloy smelter, they become uh, an ingot and then go back to the system. And all this in here, I actually go in to the sag mill directly. And I think then from there, I'm going to the uh, system. Actually, I need to check that out. Uh, so let me actually show you from behind. Uh, so all this is connected in here. Then I'm pulling everything from here. And I'm sorry if uh, you have a little bit of a noise on the background. Um, uh, my wife is cooking right now, <laughs> so every time she opens the faucet, uh, I hear it from downstairs. Anyway, uh, this in here, I put an uh, existing item filter for whatever it was in here. And I think if I go in here and show, yeah, I didn't put all those. Uh, uh, p -p 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 let me actually open it here for a second. And this one. So I think I'm going to have to throw that in there. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out that eventually. So uh, all this in here is coming. All the ones on the top, what they have is only an insert on the green channel. And they have a filter for whatever I'm filtering. For example, this one is going to do only iron. 
this one in here is gonna do I think uh, gold and etc uh, then this alloy smelter is pulling from the top it doesn't have any connection actually on the item conduits and the only connection we have actually is an extract on the brown channel so it doesn't have an insert directly on those on the middle and on the bottom here we also have a filter this is for example draconium ore and once it's done processing this one is going to pull it and process it and then go to the brown channel the brown channel is coming in here directly to this interface interface and is connected to our network and uh, that's basically it and the one that also i have another connection right here that is pulling all this in here that is not actually uh, going to a machine specifically all right so if i let's go over here if i start this in here because i haven't started yet so extract always active everything should start processing and you will see there you go so everything is processing for example pervalized nickel is coming in here and also from here whatever cores i think this one is doing cores as well so i'm using the same alloy smelter because right now we have a backlog of all this but once uh, this is done i will probably remove those uh, drawers so the same we have to do in here i'm gonna say always active and you will see everything will start processing so we have one processing here one in here etc and all this is gonna go eventually to the system so that's how this works so let me close over here and let me close over there and we can close that awesome so that is that and all these actually i can throw in this and i will process it eventually but i'm gonna leave it like that because i want to i want to add i forgot to add actually this row in here so i'm gonna have to do that eventually uh what else i have a room here ready for draconic evolution that's what we're gonna do in this episode and in here while i've been building that i have a lot of this pile of neutrons let me actually clear my inventory for a second here uh we don't need oh actually those two rest on i wanted for something what, what was it actually i think is uh, avaricia i wanted to make this uh, neutronium compressor but i don't think we'll have enough n uh, neutroniums now there is another thing i wanted to do with this the ender pearl this is the endless pearl and uh, if you take a look at the uses if you use the transmutation you get this tom of knowledge unlocks all transportation knowledge when learned so i say oh awesome let's do that in this episode but then i saw the recipe of the transmutation tablet <laughs> and this is bananas this is crazy stuff so we're gonna do I think the uh, neutronium compressor. Uh, so let's actually grab all these. Um, let me actually grab it from here for a second. Uh, yeah, let's grab it from here. We'll put it in there. And what I'm going to do is grab a bunch of these. Probably put that in there and make those. So let's see how much we can actually make. And you can see, there you go. Let's grab another one of these and put it like that. And grab a little bit more. Actually, for this, we need the ingots. And I think I can do the ingots like so. So let's balance the grid. There we have 35 ingots already. And let's do the rest. And we'll pull all that in there. Okay, so that's everything we have. 
and a little bit more there you go okay so now let's draw all the ingots the nuggets i mean balance the grid and we have in total 51 of those all right so let's move these back in here so we'll start collecting a little bit more and 51 let's see if we can actually craft that so if i grab this in here what am i missing i'm missing one of these okay so i need to craft one of those let me actually craft it in here okay and we should be able to craft one of the neutronium compressors awesome so i am gonna put that in there for now so this you can see the recipes you put a lapis block and you get a singularity of each input amount so a lot of the singularities and i don't know i don't remember right now why i wanted some i think we actually need just a regular singularity for the uh, quest book and by the way the quest book guys uh i updated to version I don't remember the name, but it ends in point 19. There is point 12 or dot 12, uh, dot uh, 20, I think. Uh, but somebody commented on uh, the last video, I think, not to update to the latest version because if I do that, the potion generator is gonna stop, stop working. So I'm not gonna do that. And we'll wait for. Um, probably another version or a fix to that before updating to dot 20 and by the way i last episode i think i comment that i was uh, having problem uh, my world was crashing so what i decided to do is actually update uh, I, I think i was in version dot 16 so i went to dot 17 and opened the uh, world in dot 17 then I went to dot 18 and transferred the world. I opened the world in dot 18 and so forth till dot 19. And that's where we are right now. All right. So if you're going to play uh, the pa uh, this uh, download, remember to go to version dot 19. That's the one we have. All right. So we're going to start working on that. But where was the... Okay. This one here. Infinity Crystal. That's what we need to do. Okay. So what's the recipe of the infinity crystal this one here oh my god all right so we're gonna need one of each of those <laughs> this is that's crazy i've never played before with avaricia so that's kind of interesting i don't know how this works do i need do i need to put 27,450 iron ingots in here? Is that the thing? Iron. Alright, let's book 64. Just want to make sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so that's why probably we need so many resources. So. Alright. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna upgrade that um, this in here probably. Uh, that's gonna generate a lot more. Uh, this one I'm not sure exactly if we really need it. Uh, probably only because of the Mika. That's gonna give me the range nanobot that I don't really want. So I don't know if I really need to update um to actually collect this but he's doing his thing he's collecting so we'll leave it like that for now and yeah let's start with a little bit of uh, let me put some this stuff away i'm just gonna throw that in there that in there oh and by the way i forgot actually the last episode i had my little robot here and somebody mentioned it also in the comment uh, about uh, using this robot and I think actually um, from uh, mechanism 
you actually need the uh, base uh, where is it um, uh, let me see if I see it uh, what is call uh, station no it's not the station plate no it's not the plate <laughs> I forgot the name uh, it's kind of a V shape uh let's see here i use it also i craft it also for the uh, digital miner but then i craft another one uh but i forgot the name of the uh actually i think it say in here doesn't when i i don't i can't place it because i need that uh charge station charge yeah there you go uh charge pad there you go all right so let's grab a charge pad uh, do I need what do I need some of these three of those and uh, we need one of these this actually doesn't go oh it already charged it and we can put it in there and we have a charge pad so let's put that actually next to our vibrant capacitor grab your rabbit you put it in there it's really nice kind of loud so teleport back home, toggle drop pickups, rename, rename this robot. How do we name it? Um, well, first to comment, I'll name it uh, with your name. First one to comment, say something nice and I will name the robot for you. All right, and you can suggest the name if you want. So toggle follow. So he's gonna follow us, drop pickups. Uh, true and uh, yeah let's see awesome so this is gonna follow me if I drop something uh, let's put some blocks there you go so he's gonna pick them up and if you go in here you can actually craft on the robot itself you can actually see the inventory you can actually cook, uh, of course, if provided with some coal, I'm guessing. So let's grab some tiny coal, give it to the robot, come in here. And if you give the robot some, uh, let's see, some apples, for example. Here you go, buddy. Cook some apples for me. And he's going to cook them even if he's following you around. Awesome. And you even have an anvil with this little guy. So really cool stuff. I never actually used it before. So I love it. Uh, rename, teleport back home. You can say to go back. So if we're going to go to a dangerous place. It's going to teleport back in there. And charge. Uh, follow through. Very nice. All right, but enough with that. Um, I can actually pick it up, and I think I'm going to do that. Let's grab the configurator and shift right click to pick it up. So that way, is uh, going to put it safe in there for now. All right, so let's start with Draconic Evolution. I don't think I have a lot of time left. <laughs> I've been talking too much. So I want this advanced dislocator for that we're gonna need to start with a, a little bit of fusion crafting So let's actually start in here Draconic evolution fusion crafting. So <clears throat> I'm gonna teach the system actually to do this stuff I'm gonna teach it to do uh, this one as well Probably even no, the well, awaken we can right now uh, what about this one? Yeah, we can teach it how to do this one and Probably even this one. So let's throw that in our system in here Okay, and let's see basic That we can do as well And the wyvern I can do that one Okay, so we're gonna throw that in there and let's see basic fusion crafting injector so basic fusion crafting injector we're gonna need probably 
Uh, normally, uh, let, let me see the recipes for a second. I think most of this stuff is eight. I don't think there is any recipe higher than that. This is four. Um, hmm. What about on this one? Yeah, all this is eight. All right, so let's go actually on the back. This is eight. Oh, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. These are, what is this? Reactor energy injector. All right, so let's do 10 of those. Uh, for now, there you go. So right now we have uh, these. We're going to need also to do uh, the fusion crafting core. So let's do one of these. And I think that's basically it. So let's jump actually in there. Uh, what do we have here? Let's actually claim this one. Ponder stick, really? All right, let's actually trash these in there. And let's see. Uh, we need to do the weaver one. So first of all, let's connect these. I think I'm going to put it right there. And let's put it in the center. So that's going to look okay in there. And since we have five, we can put one, two, three, four, five. So let's do one right there. And another one right there. So we're going to place one there, one there. Uh, we're going to place uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So actually, I'm not going to place one in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place them like that. So we have a little bit of symmetry in this place. You know... Uh, Minecraftians are very known for their OCD. <laughs> I think uh, if it's not symmetry, if there's no symmetry, then it's not the same. All right, so now we have to actually hook them up a little bit. All right, so like that, I actually am gonna open it here and let's open it here for a second there you go man that faucet it's killing my video it's killing it all right so let's grab oh man i don't have any uh conducts give me some Ender conduits and actually I'm gonna need probably I don't have in here I should have some in here I'm gonna need two flux points so we are gonna place this in here because this do require some power so like so and we can place this in there Right, so we're gonna specify that, and that should start receiving some power. Uh, no, give me back that. And I'm gonna do exactly the same behind here. There you go. And let me put that in there, and one, two, three, four. And now we can put that one there. That should transmit some energy to this. All right, so now we need to see what actually they're asking. Uh, well, the first thing is the Weaver and Fusion Crafting. So let's see what we need for that. So we're gonna need four diamonds, wiping core, two draconic, and a block of that. So let's grab all that. So diamond is gonna need 
Draconium. It's gonna need two blocks of these. I uh, don't remember these. And uh, what is? What else? Uh, let's take a look. So four of these. One Draconium. Two Draconium core. Okay. So one Draconium. Two of these. So we're gonna need a bunch. I'm just gonna craft one. I'm gonna craft the rest of camera. And I'm missing... What am I missing? One of the Wyvern Corn. Okay, we can craft that. Uh, no. Uh, no, we have one. Awesome. Alright, so if I put the diamonds... And I think actually, I don't know if... Yeah, it's gonna take the four. So, I don't know why they haven't fixed this. Or if that's always gonna be like that. So if I put four like that. One, two three and four we're gonna need one block as well we're gonna need one of these and one of these so let's put one there one there and actually i'm gonna need to grab grab one of these ones and put it right there and this should start working i think unless i miss something do i have to put it I don't remember if I have to put four in one side and four in the other one. So let's grab that in here and put it in there. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. What am I missing? I think I'm missing one of those. Let's double check. Yeah, I'm missing this one actually. Do you need power as well? I don't remember that. I don't remember if this actually needs power. So let's give it some power as well. Uh, flux point. I don't recall if this actually needs power. I'm gonna put you there. No, this one doesn't require power. So what am I doing wrong? One, two, three, and the block. One, two, three, and the block, and four diamonds. Energy cost 256,000. Uh, do I have to remove that? And let's do the same on this one. Huh. All right, give me a second. All right, so that was a derp on my part. Uh, I need to place these actually uh, this way, so a little bit closer. And if you take a look at the Draconium Evolution, this is actually the right placement. So it's uh, three by three. Uh, it can be far away, but it has to be actually um, no more than one block away on the sides, I think. So this should work. So let's place the four diamonds actually in here. So one, two, and three, and four. I can actually grab this one in here in the middle so I can use that one for crafting. Uh, there you go. Now that you see that, uh, we can actually go ahead and start. This is actually pretty, pretty cool. I can probably move it up. So it's not touching the ground and move this up a little bit. So yeah, this is gonna charge and then it start crafting. Man, I can I can have enough of this crafting. This is absolutely absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, don't know. This is this is really really nice. So once we have the first one, I can craft the rest of camera. Oh, so nice. So nice that crafting. There you go. So we have another one in here. Awesome. And these ones are the Draconic Infusion. So for that we need an Awakened Draconic Block that we do have actually. So I can go directly from this to this one. But I'm going to craft the rest. So let me do that in a second here. Well, not in a second. Actually, uh, I wonder if I can accelerate the process. Let me try that. So let's try this. I'm gonna uh, craft the second one here, but I put nine 
um, nine uh, diamonds on each because it's nine more recipes that I need to make. So let's go ahead and start this process. I wonder if I can actually accelerate this. No, it doesn't seem to be the case. So I cannot accelerate. Uh, well, I cannot accelerate the charging. Let me see the fusion itself. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we do can accelerate this uh, process. Awesome. And now all the items are back in place. So we only need to grab one of these. Let me put that one in there. That one in there. Hit star. And that's going to be way faster to craft the rest. Awesome. So I'm going to do that. Be right back. All right, guys, so now that I have all the uh, Wyvern fusion crafting injectors, let's go ahead and do this one. Really easy to make. This locator, that's actually the one you use, uh, I use on the Wither Farm. So we're going to do the advanced dislocator. So we put that one in there. We start the process as before. And then we're going to need actually some ender pearls. Uh, we have ton in here, so let's grab a few. And this one here, uh, I'm just going to leave that one. If not, this is so cool to watch. <laughs> I just say before, this is so cool to watch and I use the accelerator in all the process uh, before. Anyway, we have the advanced dislocator, which is really nice and we completed actually a few quests So let's go back in here We right click on this one and it opened that interface. So I am gonna put one in here. So uh, What I do in here is uh, let's add first some fuel So if I click once it will add one end repair from my inventory if I shift click it's gonna add 16 each time so if we do like this we'll add everything i wish there was a button to add all or something maybe control no shift control there you go so out of enterprise on the inventory so we have uh, 953 uses on this but we can keep uh, adding so what i'm gonna do right here is add a new we're gonna call it uh, home and commit awesome so let's go for example to the uh, i don't know i actually don't need to go anywhere on this uh, it's not that far away but let's say i have here i want to check something in here so i'm gonna right click and whoops <laughs> i just teleported over there uh, what i wanted to do is actually shift right click in here I'm gonna add new, let's call it dragon farm and commit. And then I can lock it actually if I want. I don't want to, these to move. So right now it's set at home. I right click and I come here. And if I hold shift, I can change it to dragon farm. And I can go back into the dragon farm. So, which is really nice. And I think even uh, works uh, interdimensional. So if I go, uh, what do I want to go? Uh, let's go to the uh, nether. So if I want to go to the nether and I want to go to a specific spot in the nether, I think I can use it as well. So let's give it a try and wrap up this episode, guys. I haven't been in nether since I trapped that gas, actually. So let's go over here. Doesn't really matter where, but let's say, <laughs> look at that. Uh, let's say I want uh, to be in here. So shift right click. And we're going to say add new nether test commit. And we'll leave it like that. I can click in here or I can go, let's go home. And there you go. We go back in home. Awesome. Uh, why is... There you go. So it takes a while, but we are home. Very nice, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, get a crate. 
I'm gonna grab a small crate and uh, in this crate I'm gonna put actually let me empty up the inventory for this uh, stuff in here I'm gonna put that in there so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty all of these right here even the armor and everything that I have in here as well uh, I'm gonna put right there so I don't have anything else I have the bubbles as well so I'm gonna put that in there now another thing I want you to know is um, the mob form I always disable it before I start recording uh, just uh, to avoid a little bit more lag in the, the um, in the video and why is that working now I actually I haven't tested it since I updated the pack uh huh all right so I'm sorry about that but I'm gonna have to take a look at it uh, the um, the with the form on on the top the rainbow power generation on on the bottom so right now is off and uh, what else well that's basically it so let me put uh, not here let me put all these and all these right in there for you guys and yeah <laughs> with this size that's gonna be it for this episode guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh take a look at the world download and let me know what do you think play around with it and if you have any suggestion and improvement i'm always happy to listen to you guys so thank you and see you next time bye bye oh actually i forgot to uh do something so let me put that in there uh again because i was actually trying to see if there was something else around that you guys needed an explanation and what i'm gonna do uh is uh, don't forget the coordinates in here just in case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open to land in here go game mode one and uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, how was it okay so set world spawn right here so the world spawn point set to this uh, area here i don't know if i have to set spawn as well uh spawn no uh set spawn uh, i forgot i think it's set war spawn so you guys can spawn right in here if not the coordinates for this is minus 1037 on the x z is minus 992 and y level 90 just so you know all right all right see you guys on the next one